serve very big. She's serving uh, some of her fastest serves at about 108 miles per hour, and that's that's a lot of pace. Well, she's playing a pretty aggressive opponent. And an ace down the middle. That one, you can be sure she'll jump all over this one. And she did. <laughs> and rips that two-fisted backhand. So That's big from Huber there, showing that she can handle the tournament in France. And her ranking went from uh, about 130. It jumped to number 32, and she's really never looked back since then. Been a very. No, he's a good man. Mm. Fifteen love, thirty love. That's. You don't need to serve that wide one with a lot of pace. You just need good placement. And that's big too. Celis's favorite serve in the deuce court is down. So many. Uh, new names with the kids I mentioned earlier. This is the junior week here at Flushing Meadow on the outside courts. That's too good there from, from Celis. So very well. She's been practicing that since age seven. Yeah. And she's all of 21 now. I tell you what, I think Anki Huber might just about have it and see at the reaction. That's why it's important not to give too much away at the other end, even though you're down 5-1. Don't look as though you're dispirited. Um, everything from the media to all the uh, chaos off the court. But it's in particular, just how well she's striking the ball and, and how well... A piece of the time, that's the toughest thing, I think, when you come back here. You just don't have that much time for everybody. There really has been not as much in the last couple of days here at the U.S. Open. We look at this point play just now again. Huber's not liked a couple of different calls. That one did look uh, a little bit wide. Set points now, though. And there it is, the first set has gone to Celis. Six games to one, and it took all of 23 minutes. It's interesting. She came back and played one term at the end of um, last year in Philadelphia. And in fact, Anki Huber won that event. Huber beat Capriati in the first round. And Capriati looked pretty good. She looked in. in Another good serve. A couple of huge serves. Round serve and then rushed. Let's see if she can take a time here. Can't do much about that one. Got to grade herself for is the fact that given opportunities uh, to break, she has missed the return of serves both here and in Canada. And that's something that she won't accept. There. We're recording <laughs> this shot from 
Huber. Well, if you if you do Thomas give... won the first set, six games to one. They're on serve in the second set. That's three two. Huber leads. And Fred Stolle along with Betsy Nagelson. Watch out. Oh, the net cord set that up for Huber could break serve here and lead 4-2. There would be a big buzz around this packed house. But <laughs> Sellers doesn't want that. has already faced one break point in this game. Also had a game point. Well, that's a great shot. Long foot out. She's in the rhythm now on the ground strokes. Huber just kind of held that for that split second forcing Sellers to commit herself. This is a second break opportunity for Huber. And again, Sellers is so clever. She well, Huber wants a call. Good disguise. Huber does the right thing to fall in to meet the next shot, but Celis gets there in plenty of time to thread it down the tee, down the line and about her career. And that's an area that will continue to get better now as she plays more matches. She picked it, moved there instinctively. Last ball. These last three games have been long ones. Question here, the drop shot. If that's not in, I'm a Dutchman's uncle. Yeah, Left-handed forehand so she can have a little bit extra reach. Uses the one-handed forehand more often now. Well, that's a brilliant shot. Boy, that's tough. Huber, that's a shot she used really well in Toronto. Celis was kind of on her backs of her heels, not looking for a drop shot at all. Yet again. Oh, that's too good. That's the champion that she is under pressure. 15 all. does that so very, very well. <laughs> well, talk about some wicked angles. A set and a break came back and won that one. It's a great effort for Mary Jo Fernandez. And now Sellis looking to get into the quarter. And there's not too many of the 
women out there that have the pace of shot like Huber does. That's good there from Monica Sellis, the pump fist. And it's long. Sellis looks back over to her family. She's through in a very, very entertaining match. Both girls all smile. A couple of close calls on both sides of the fence.